Hey guys, I'm Isaiah Tripp here with Trip Talk. And if you want to know the difference between an asset and a liability, just simply continue to watch this video. Okay, first and foremost, um, I just want to start off by saying that today I will be speaking from experience and mostly research. And the reason I wanted to make this video today is because I feel that it's a very important uh, thing to know the difference. And not only that, they won't teach you this in school not in high school and not even in college. This is something that I had to research on my own. But again, this is something that I feel that is very important to financial freedom and uh, to overall happiness and longevity of financial wealth. Um, and so just getting right into it, an asset first and foremost is something that puts money into your pocket. A liability is something that takes something out of your pocket. So for example, a car is a liability because uh, you have to make that car payment every month. Um, Anything that you're making payments on or anything, a house is a liability because you have to make payments on that uh, monthly. It doesn't necessarily become an asset until you sell it or until you make it a rental property or whatever the case may be. Um, and so, again, the difference between the two is the asset uh, will put money into your pocket. A liability will take money out of your pocket. Now, a business, uh, silver, gold, stocks and things of that nature, those are all assets, okay? And again, the reason why I wanted to make this video is because it is, it is very important to, to one, know the difference between the two. But not only that, after that, you have to begin to put actions in the play. You have to begin to uh, cut down your liabilities, cut down your bills, and begin to start buying assets. Now, here's the thing. Uh, I'm 25 years old, and so I'm, I'm actually doing these things. I'm actually active in it. I'm in it. I'm in the current situation. I'm trying to grow and cut down my liabilities as well. Um, because again, they didn't teach me this in college. So right out of college, I started buying liabilities and things of the nature, not even knowing the difference. But now that I know the difference, I want to share it with you guys and uh, create a challenge for, for not just you guys, but for also myself to continue to try to cut down our liabilities and try to add to our asset column. Because truly, when we begin to do that, that is when we begin to work our way towards financial freedom um, and things of that nature. And that's what it's all about. I mean, you want to be able to make money in your sleep. You want to be able to make money um, wherever. You want to be able to spend more time with your family, spend more time on vacations and things of that nature. So it's very important that we add to the asset column because the more we do that, the more cash flow we create, the more wealth we create for ourselves and not only for ourselves, but for our families. And that's the most important thing. And so again, the difference between the two and an and asset is anything or something that puts money into your pocket. A liability um, is something that takes money out of your pocket. So what you want to do is cut down on your liabilities, cut down on your bills, and eventually uh, or continuously add to your asset column. And eventually your assets will begin to outgrow your bills. And when that happens, obviously you don't have to work for anybody. And again, that should be the goal for everybody. It should be financial freedom and financial security for you and your family. Because I'm here to tell you, even if you have a good job, um, that can be taken away at any point. I mean, I've had countless uh, testimonies and stories of people making over several hundreds of thousands of dollars and still losing their job. And, and it was at that point where they realized and again, these people did nothing wrong. Sometimes it's just it's just business. You can't control anything unless you own it yourself. And so there was a saying in uh, Robert Kiyosaki's uh, book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, where there was a situation uh, where Robert had asked his rich dad, you know, you know, how do I get up to how do I get up the ladder, so to speak? And the rich dad replied, well, why not just own the ladder? And that's the mindset that we all have to have. And again, I'm only 25. My asset column is not where I want it to be, but that's where I'm going. And that's where I'm challenging you guys to go as well. Um, so that's all I really have for you guys today. I just wanted to explain the difference. And really, guys, again, this is something that you simply just won't learn in school at any level. But it is important to the financial freedom of all. Um, and my hope is, is that, you know, you watch this video, you learn something and that ultimately you share it with a friend or two so that we all can grow together. Uh, so really, if you like this video, please click the like button. Also, uh, if, if you're new to this channel, if this is your first time, please consider subscribing and also hitting that notification bell so that YouTube can let you know whenever I upload a video. 
and I will be uploading more videos, guys. So again, please like, uh, subscribe, and comment if you if you learned something from this video, if you simply just like it. And hopefully doing that, we can get this message out there more and more people can uh, get the knowledge that they need to move their way towards financial freedom. So I thank you guys for watching again. I'm Isaiah Tripp here with Trip Talk. Thank you.